My company just did a massive layoff. Four of my co-workers were laid off. I heard there were more from other departments. Today is their last day. One recently bought a house. One just moved in with their partner. One got married a month ago. And one has been with the company for over five years and during that time. Worked so fucking hard and endured a lot of shit from C-suite and other departments. That one hurts the most he was one of those co-workers you thought would be there till he retired. We're not allowed to reach out to them either. It's so fucking shitty. My manager claims this is the last round of layoffs but I don't believe it. Christmas party this year gonna be awkward as fuck. Time to start job hunting I guess. Just bought a house as well so that's great timing. I'm so scared. Sorry if any typos I'm on mobile. Edit I just want to clarify that I've been told not to reach out as the company wants to. Officially announce it first they told the immediate team so we aren't caught off guard. So it's not a blanket ban. Apologies for the confusion I was really shaken after the meeting and went straight to Reddit to vent and wasn't thinking clearly. Edit 2 and yes, I will be reaching out to them. Dot how are they gonna know if you reach out to two or former co-workers? Reach out anyways. Who is more important? Pleasing your uncaring boss? Or for another proper human being? A friend of mine works for a company that just laid off a bunch of folks. They said there would be no more. My friend kept her job and a few days later was contacted to help with the next round of layoffs. Companies lie. You're not allowed to reach out to them? Says who? That sounds illegal for your company to even suggest that. Skip the Christmas party. Not allowed to reach out? B.S. You have every right to their relationships. References. Referrals and endorsements. Screw them all day long. They can't prohibit contact with your fellow human beings and former co-workers. You are allowed to reach out to them. No one can stop that. They don't have money to keep people on, but they do for a Christmas party? Priorities? If your boss asks any variation of have you spoken with any of the former employees? You say yeah. Sure. This is a business. Not the Church of Scientology. They were terminated. Not disconnected or excommunicated. Bosses can't dictate your statutory rights. Lol they cannot tell you who you can cannot talk to during your personal time. First things first refuse to do the work of the laid off people. The company is looking to try and reduce headcount but keep profits. Hell. The manager's jobs get easier with fewer people to manage. They will ask you to pick up the slack. Don't. Ask for a raise if you want. But if they just dump multiple jobs on you. That's not fair. Respectfully refuse to do additional work on top of your normal duties without appropriate compensation we're not allowed to reach out to them either and how are they going to enforce that pretty sure what you do during off hours is exactly none of their fucking business if you're too worried to reach out through work channels hit them up on linkedin send recommendations etc every time a company says this is the last round of layoffs what they really mean is this is the last round of layoffs today. Company I was at laid off 55 of their employees in May I was in this round. Second round was this summer. Not allowed to reach out? Fuck you. Off the clock, you don't get to police who I speak to. It's the last round of layoffs until the next one. There's always a next one. Companies have zero loyalty to their employees. The craziest part is I bet they are still profitable. Just not as profitable as the overlords want them to be. My company actually just did a round of layoffs today. My team appears to have lost three people. Out of maybe a dozen-ish.
Email came from management that all conversations have been had. So I think I'm safe for now. But we'll see. I work in the mortgage industry and got laid off last year when rates tanked. And it was a terrible feeling. Have been literally sick to my stomach today worrying I'd be on the cut list again. From what I've experienced, if you have layoffs and the bottom 10 slackers get let go, then usually there's not much to worry about. The business is just using layoffs as an excuse to get rid of crappy employees. If you have layoffs and anyone of worth gets cut, start looking for a new job ASAP. Do you work for Bungie? That is not the end of layoffs. They tell you that to keep you from jumping ship. I've been through two different company layoffs. I was on the manager end with more knowledge on the most recent one. We trickle laid off people. And then they announced later on they were just closing the whole site. 500 laid off if they couldn't find a spot to transfer to at sister hospitals. My husband was laid off during the third round of layoffs at his company last year. Run. Always do the opposite of what the company tells you. If they have gone out of their way to tell you to not talk to them, then they are hiding something. Use your personal device to talk to them and find out what they know that your boss doesn't want you to know. Speaking from a bit of experience, in the industry I am in I have been made redundant eight times in 20-something years. They always say that it is the last round of redundancies until they have to make some more. What I have learned is that once this starts I now start looking for a job elsewhere. Husband's company laid off 70 of their workers about two years ago. It took him nearly a year to find another job. He's a freaking scientist with 25 years experience. He was 49 years old. Every single offer he got was less than what he made fresh out of grad school in the mid-1990s. We had to cash in retirement to live. We no longer have any retirement. He found a job in an adjacent field and we make less than ever. But we're getting by with overtime. Now they've cut overtime. Don't believe that STEM lie. Kids. We're not allowed to reach out to them either. The fuck you aren't. This isn't kindergarten. They're not in time out. You're a grown ass adult and you can communicate with whoever the fuck you want. This is your daily reminder not to give notice when you leave. If your colleagues were fired without notice, you don't owe the company anything. I lost four co workers this week. Thankfully, they canceled the Christmas party. Do as much as you can to pad your resume at this company. Take on the most complex projects and then leave. Make them feel the pain. Your job is gone. Mass layoffs that don't include leadership is leadership telling you they don't know how to make money. Just how to temporarily save money. Leave while there's still a company to leave. Sounds like revenues were down and C-suite had to get their bonuses somehow. They can't keep you from contacting them on your personal time. If you got their person number or personal email by all means stay in touch with them. You might need them one day. Also I'd start looking for another job. If you find one quit without notice unless you are required to if you signed a contract. Other than that F them. They aren't done with layoffs. They are just saying they are done so the others that are left don't start to abandon ship. I was with Rockwell Collins when they had a massive meeting to say that there were no layoffs. The very next day they had layoffs and the head of the entire facility got laid off. So take that accordingly. Start looking for a job and start saving every single penny you can. We're not allowed to reach out to them either. They cannot enforce this. First of all fuck the employer who thinks they can tell you not to contact somebody on your own time. Second. Why the fuck would you go to the Christmas party? They e shown their true colors fuck em. Sorry why aren't you allowed to reach out to them? What you do on your own time is up to you. Companies do not care about you or your life only profits.
People need to stop thinking that they care about you at all.